Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to be covering the screenshots that N Knight released on their Twitter account. Now, this is quite old. I should have done the video on this a long time ago, but I've moved house and I've been struggling to settle in. But here we are. And I'm actually making content and I want to get on with it. It's a bit nerve wracking taking this much time off. Now, there was four screenshots released and some information about a release date. The release date's being moved to early to mid next year, so 2022. God, I'm getting old, which is most unfortunate both the age and release date, but at least we have something a little bit more concrete. And also they're gonna be releasing another trailer soon. We'll be around the time this video comes out actually. Now I'm not gonna focus too much on the other screenshots as I don't have them in front of me right now. I probably should have been more prepared, but as I said, I'm getting back into it. But I'm gonna focus on the inventory. Now I'm gonna be doing this through Photoshop because it's gonna be much easier, but this is the image they sent through. And then I decided to brighten it up so I could see it a little bit better and change a few of the colors and stuff, prop out all the bits that aren't actually items as such. You might find it easy to see this. You might find the original image easier to see. I'm not sure. Also, I had to do a reinstall and I'm on Windows 11 and Windows 11 and Photoshop don't play nice. So hopefully I don't get any issues. Now, what I've decided to do is crop it all, which took quite a long time, as you can imagine. And I've labeled every single item and I've managed to figure out what most of it are with assistance of Warby, Digit and Sebulon and a little bit of Frederick too. Some close friends that helped me with stuff. So I'm gonna cover the items that were in the previous game just to get them out of the way, but we've got the sticks here, upgraded stick, small rocks, rocks. I think this is bone armor is very hard to tell just because of how much of it is cut off. We've got wristwatches, duct tape. I think this is cloth, but it's not enough to really tell. I believe these are snowberries. I'm fairly confident in that. I think these might be twin berries, but they don't look like twin berries. I believe these are blueberries. The seeds are off to the side. Not sure if you can tell. We've got circuit boards. The bombs are making return. Walkie talkies here. Flashlight that actually looks like the exact same one from the original game. We've got rope up here. I believe this is a turtle shell. It's very hard to tell up there. This is a jerry can watering can. Could be for a chainsaw, but we've been advised that the chainsaw is going to be a battery handheld one. Skulls, the climbing axe, arms and legs, and the head. Notice the expression. That's the expression I had when I found out the game had been delayed until next year. We've also got bones here and the crafted club. Just trying to think of a way to work around all the new items. I'll start from the bottom. Now these circular things here, they look like 3D printing material cable used for electrical wiring things. I hope I worded that right. I don't know. It does look like the material you use in a 3D printer, but the 3D printer in the game uses resin, which is quite different. Next we've got flowers and I'm not sure what they are. These ones look like Japanese cherry blossoms, but I'm not sure this is a guess. I think a botanist might know more, but yeah, I don't know. Next is the inventory lighting and color controls. Very hard to see with the amount of brightness I've added to this, actually. You can kind of tell a little bit, but yeah, it's not really an item. Next is a K-Bar knife. This one actually doesn't have the textures added to it yet. I'm guessing they're just going to go with a black handle. Next is the axe, which was from the trailers. It's a tactical axe. Probably what they're going to call it, but it's similar to a Heckler and Gosh um, 14001 Gout 15 tactical axe. And there's a field knife. I don't know much about those. Digit pointed that out. He's got military experience. I think they call this a Kukri, which is like a machete. It looks quite small. Or Kukri, I'm guessing it's a different language that that word is from, so I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of it. Next is the Katana. That's making a return. Hopefully it's better in this one. We'll see. I forgot the weak spear. I think that's a weak spear. That's making a return. Next is a shovel. Uh, that was in the trailers as well. Next is a cattle prod or a stun baton. It's got a switch on it so you can obviously do more damage with it. Probably going to run off batteries, I'm guessing. This is a block splitter axe. That's what Digit thinks it is. I'm not too sure. The head is quite wide, so I think it is. I'm confident, about 80% confident it is, but yeah. Next is the fireman's axe. It's a fireman's axe. I don't actually know much about them. Next is repair tool or crafted axe or hammer. It's hard to tell what it is because it's behind the crafted club. It looks quite long. So it almost looks like it could be a large hammer, even a sledgehammer now that I'm looking at it. The head on it's not sharp. So my guess is probably as good as yours. Next is a jerry can or water can. It's hard to tell what that is because it's quite dark. I'll put it in the original image. As you can see, it's uh, quite dark there. It's hard to tell what it is. Because they're going with battery operated chainsaw, I'm guessing that fuel might not be a thing and it might be just a water can that you can still water in. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. 
Here is a handheld 3D scanner. I found an image. This was very hard to identify, but I found an image and it looks pretty much just like one. I'm fairly certain of that one. Now this one, laser distance measurer, but this would actually be very cool for building. <laughs> so you can get the proper measurements of things. I think that's what it is. Next is a cross. Obviously that's from the old game. I didn't mention this. This one's a remote or a trigger. It's hard to tell. This is the GPS that was in the trailer as well. We're getting binoculars. Should be interesting to see whether that actually increases the rendering distance when you actually look through them. A lot of games they don't, so it makes them actually quite useless, but hopefully Sons of the Forest is different. These are night vision goggles, uh, PVS-15, did you identify those? I don't know anything about night vision goggles. Apparently it's bad to have them switched on and using them while looking at the sun though. Next is resin canisters, that's what I believe they are. That's what you're going to be doing your 3D printing with, because it's like a liquid that you use. Uh, this was very hard to identify. It looks almost like a texture glitch, but it could be story items. So I just wrote story items. Next, you've got explosives. These are the, I think it's like C4. I doubt you're going to be able to use it on its own because you can tell it's part of the bomb in here. That's how bombs are going to be made, I'm guessing. Next is flares. I missed that one. That one's in it. And molotovs too. God, I missed a lot from the original one. Next is the taser that was shown in the trailer. And there's a scope here. There's a lot of items. I warning just stopped and it's being saved. So... Windows 11 has decided to block NVIDIA Shadow Play from recording after 12 minutes and 37 seconds of recording, and I don't know why. If you want my advice on whether you should get Windows 11, don't, because Windows 11 itself is fairly okay. It's just other programs just don't like playing with it. So just don't do it. Oh man. When you're trying to come back into something that you haven't been at for a while, it's difficult. And when things like this happen, it just makes it, oh, so spicy and so fun. But I just keep moving. At least Audition is still recording. Keep my audio and video separate. You've got the pistol ammo and taser cartridges. The shotgun shells is actually two different colors there. So I'm guessing they're buckshots and shells, which are used for different things. And I don't know what the difference is. And like in my last analysis video, I don't want to get butchered in the comments by the Americans. So I'm going to leave it as that. Now the shotgun is there. I don't know if I crop too much off, but it's a shotgun that's similar to the Remington 870 TAC 14 12 gauge. I'm just reading out what I've written here. Above that, it looks like a shotgun handguard, I believe. And I've poorly cropped that one as well, just because it was very difficult to crop that stuff at the top. And the next one is probably the highlight of this video, but there's actually a tranquilizer rifle. It was extremely difficult to identify this. I think it was Warby that finally got it canister at the bottom of it is a giveaway that it was a tranquilizer rifle and i believe it's a trank rifle jm special if you look that up you'll get the image of what that looks like now if you don't know they can't exactly use the exact copy so they just take a real life and make it look just different enough so they don't get sued for copyright and so they don't have to pay royalties i think that's how it works but yeah that's going to be very interesting how that's worked they don't get your expectations up too high you're probably not going to be able to trank them and keep them as slaves it's not something i'm too much into but I believe a lot of people are. But yeah. Next is the Chiapa. And I'm very confident I just butchered the pronunciation of that. But that looks like a very powerful handgun. And it's a revolver too. So hopefully it's that cool niche weapon that just blows them away. I'm guessing it's going to be like the 44 Magnum out of Half-Life and Half-Life 2. That's my guess. Next across from it is a handheld tracking device or trigger. That's what I believe it is. It's got that design to it. I could be wrong though. Above, working from left to right, is the fragmentation grenades, basically frag grenades. I'm guessing they're going to be kind of the alternative for dynamite. Hopefully they're good at taking down trees and there's a lot of them that respawn. But not really, I'm not hoping for that. Cutting down trees with dynamite in the forest is a little too easy, I think. Next over is a weapon flashlight. Above that is a pistol slide. Next over is motion detection. I think that's what it is. It's hard to say. That's a very strange shaped thing and I might have cropped it wrong. I think I mentioned the scope. I'm not sure, but it looks like a scope for a rifle of some kind. Most likely the Trank rifle. Finally is the pistol, which is a Sig Sire P320, which was shown in the trailers. Now I've got a picture of the inventory from the forest cropped as well. It was a little bit easier to do this one because I know the console commands and stuff just to show you the differences between the two, etc, etc. Now, there's a lot of items missing, and I had a thing showing, but the crossbow's not there. The mule rations, the MRE, that's hard to confirm if they're actually a thing. They were in the helicopter. Pevlov's gun kind of thing. Why show it if it's there? Um, batteries aren't there. Guitar, which is most likely not going to be an item you can carry in your inventory because it's just too large. The battery operated chainsaw, a gas powered chainsaw. That's an assumption that there is one. Masks aren't there. 3D printed pieces aren't there. And the release date's not there. So yeah, there we go. 
I'm sure there's other analyses out there. Analyses? I don't think that's a word. They might have got things more correct than me, but it's all our assumption. Based on the inventory too, I am going to show you the raw inventory. Things like the straps that hold down the sticks. It's those straps are glitching through the sticks. So they, it looks like they've got a bit of work to do, but that's very cosmetic. If I was them, I'd probably do away with those straps because they look like a pain to work with trying to get it around each item. You know, if you've got 10 sticks or 20 sticks, God knows. Come to think of it, it doesn't look like there's going to be a stick bag. Very convenient being able to hold 20 sticks. If it's anything like the forest, you're going to need a lot of sticks. Hopefully you found this video useful though. And feel free to leave comments about your opinion about what it might be. If I've got anything wrong, etc. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.